Hello students, we are going to take up the most important chapter organic chemistry. Why it is important? Because children, maximum weightage has been given to this chapter in your semester 2 exams. Right? So, let's take a quick revision. First, we talk about this organic chemistry comprises of carbon and its compound, but it does not contain the oxides of carbon like carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Right? It does not include carbonates or bicarbonates reason they do not form uh, the carbon chains okay so organic chemistry is a separate branch of chemistry and it is study of carbon now why it is study of carbon because carbon has got a unique nature carbon ka nature kya hai unique hai. and what is that unique nature first it is tetravalent that means carbon ke paas kitne atomic number hai atomic number 6 hai electronic configuration agar hum likhte hai, it will be 2,4 that means four electrons are present in the valence shell. Valence shell is the outermost shell is known as valence shell. So valence shell me kitne electrons are four. So we call this as tetra. Tetra matlab four valence means valency. So carbon is tetravalent. Right. Next special feature of carbon is catenation. Catenation ka matlab kya hai? It forms self linkage. Self linkage matlab ye a carbon dusre carbon ke saath chain Okay. So this is uh, catenation right then third carbon ka feature hai that it forms isomer iso matlab same okay and mer means units so it is going to form same units means it's ka same molecular formula hoga, but it is going to have different structures or jaha structure different hoa vaise uska compound different ho jayega uski physical or chemical properties different ho jayenge so, because of this unique nature of carbon, we study organic chemistry, right? Now, we have in our course classification, if you see organic compounds, then they are classified into two categories, right? One is open chain and the second is closed chain. Okay, open chain means carbon ke compounds are ke open chain. Ke. Closed chain ka matlab hai wo is tarah ka ek ring hai. Right? Now in open chain, they are further classified into two categories. Saturated. Right? And unsaturated. Now, since uh, the main element is carbon, the second element present in the organic compound is hydrogen. So we also call this as hydrocarbon. Now, open chain compounds are also known as aliphatic beta. Ye yaad ka. Aliphatic word is very important. So, open chain compounds are also known as aliphatic. And closed chain compounds are known as cyclic. Okay. So, cyclic compounds are there. Now, when we talk about open chain, these aliphatic, they are classified into saturated. That means carbon, carbon ke beech mein single covalent bond hoga. Unsaturated hoga to carbon carbon ke beech mein double bond hoga. Ya agar uh, unsaturated hai to carbon carbon ke beech mein there will be triple bond. So either there will be a single covalent bond or there will be a double or triple bond. Okay, at least one bond will be double or one bond will be triple. Okay, so when it is saturated with carbon carbon single covalent bond, then we call this category as or homologous series as LK. Okay, then if there is a double bond, then we call this as alkene. If there is a triple bond, we call this as alkyne. Right? Now, these are the hydrocarbons. Now, when we talk about closed chain, now closed chain are further classified into homocyclic or they are classified into heterocyclic. Okay, as the name says, homo means all the members in the cycle are of carbon. Okay. So, like suppose we take this carbon, carbon, carbon. Okay. So, it's a six member and all the members are of carbon. Heterocyclic means they may, there may be some members carbon and some there may be another element present in the ring. Right. Maybe nitrogen, maybe sulfur or, or oxygen. So, nitrogen, sulfur or the oxygen ki wajay se compound ke andar ek member jo hoga different ho jayega. Okay, so we call this as heterocyclic. So, children, in your course you have got homocyclic or homocyclic me aapke paas example hai benzene ka. Okay, so what is the formula for benzene? C6H6. In structure is 
six carbon they are hexagonally arranged right and they have got each carbon is having one hydrogen right and there are three alternate double bonds okay so ye aapko kya hamara benzene ka structures ko practice kar lijiyega next we talk about the homologous series so what are homologous series these are the series of organic compounds right the successive members they follow a regular structural pattern right and the two members successive members they differ by ch2 group okay or they differ by 14 atomic mass unit now how 14 because carbon is 12 hydrogen 2 into 1 so 14 so therefore there is difference of 14 atomic mass unit okay when we talk about homologous series what is there a homologous series is going to have a general formula right it is going to have uh, chemical properties right but there be a, a gradation a slow gradation in the chemical properties but most of the properties will be same okay then there will be a gradual increase in the molecular mass why because every time we'll be adding ch2 okay and then when we move down in the series the physical properties will change from gas to liquid to soft solid to hard solid okay so these are the important features of homologous series right now we have in our course homologous series alkene 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 so let's take up first homologous series is l okay the second homologous series is l keen and third homologous series is l kyne now what is common you will find the common word is l okay so l means number of carbon so if there is one carbon we call it a two carbon we call it a three carbon we call it prop four carbon we call it but five we call it pen children first five important hai iske kar lijiye c6 hai ki aapko yaad hona chahiye okay now like you have got two names you have got first name and you have got a second name that is surname likewise elk in so this is the first name which represents the number of carbon right and the second in tells that there is a single bond bond between carbon and carbon right if it is alkene that means first is number of carbon and the second is going to tell that there is carbon carbon double bond if it is alkyne that means there is a triple bond which exists between the carbon is this clear now if we talk about the general formula because homologous series are there so they have a general formula so alkene will have formula c n h 2 n plus 2 alkene will have formula right alkene is going to have formula c n h 2 n alkyne will have formula c n h 2 n minus 2 so what is happening you have plus 2 then you remove these two and you get a double bond further you remove two more hydrogen and you get a triple is this clear general formula is clear now children aapke course pe hai the first form members so what you have to do is Draw the structures of first time members. Write their IUPAC name. So let's take up. Okay, alkene ke members le lete. Suppose I take methane, right? And I take say pentane. Okay, two examples. So methane, meth means one carbon, right? And ane means it has got single bond. What is the formula for alkene? C N H two N plus two. Here n is equal to one, so the formula will be C one H two into one plus two. That means C one H four. How will you write? This is the structure: single carbon with four carbons. Okay, this is methane. Then we talk about pentane. Pentane pent means five. So that means it is C five H two into five plus two. So this comes as C five H twelve. So five carbon one, two, three, four. Five carbon. Each carbon is having how many hands, children? Four hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you have written twelve, right? And what is the name of the compound? The name of the compound is pentene. Okay. So these are the two members of alkene. Now let's take up the members of alkene. Okay. So let's take member of alkene ethene. Okay. So what is the general formula? CnH2n. Right. It means how many carbon? Two. So it will be C2H2 into two. So it will be C2H2 into two. Right. So it will be C2H4. How do we write? We write carbon, carbon. Now since there are two carbon only, so double bond will exist here. So one, two, three, four. Each carbon is having four hands. So you ensure that carbon ke paas char ha. One, two, three, four. This carbon one, two, three, four. And put hydrogen on these vacant hands. So this becomes the structure of ethene. Okay. What about butene? So butene, but means C4. So it will be C4, 4 into 2, 8. So C4, H8. How we write? 1, 2, 3, 4. Right now, you can have a double bond wherever you want. Suppose now here nothing is mentioned. Yeah, sir, butene is there. So that means understood as a double bond. Hai, wo, one. one per double. So one, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So you have to ensure that every carbon is tetra -valid. Okay. So these are total eight hydrogens, right? So this is UT. Okay. Next we take up the third homologous series is L sine. The general formula is CnH2n minus. Okay, let's have the member propyne and member pentyne. So, prop means C3. So, 3 twos are 6 minus 2. So, it will be how much? 6 minus 2 is 4. So, C3H4. And pentyne, it is C5. 5 twos are 10 minus 2, 8. Okay. Right, so let's uh, write this structure C3, 1, 2, 3. Now let's give a triple bond, right, to any uh, of these two carbons, right? Now 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So you have got C3H4 and the name is prop. Since there is a triple bond, we say propyne. Now propyne is on first carbon. So, we haven't numbered. So, let's assume. Next, we talk about pentyne 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or, suppose you have pentyne 2. Okay. So, 1, 2, second carbon per 100. Triple. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we are going to put how many hydrogens? 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And what is the name of the compound? The name of the compound is pentyne. Okay, so these are the three whole of the series in your course. Right? Now we take up radical alkyl radical. Okay, so alkyl radical is actually radical when we remove one hydrogen from alkene. So when we remove one hydrogen from alkene, then it becomes an alkyl radical. Children, it is denoted with capital R, right? Its formula is CnH2n plus 1 with 1 big. Okay, so if I say methyl, right? Now the name is given by N, methyl. So this is by N. So wherever you find by L, that means there is one hydrogen next. From LK. So it will be mid means one carbon. So one, two into one is two plus one, three. So it will be. Seven. If I say prop pile, so that means three carbon, three twos are six plus one, seven. So three, three, and seven. Okay, so this is prop pile. Right? Now on these. Uh, Structures, alkyl radicals, we can attach functional groups. Okay. So, we will talk about what are functional groups. So, functional groups are basically the atom or a radical 
type or a bond okay which defines the structure of an organic compound okay and it gives a special property to this compound we call this as functional group for example if there is o right so this is which group hydroxyl group and if this is attached to r then this is known as alcohol its iupac name is nkanol right if there is cho group attached we call this as aldehyde group right and the formula will be r c h o we call this as aldehyde and the name will be lk now children bachche yahi mistake karte hain so remember if it is alcohol o l if it is aldehyde a okay <coughs> next we have c o h we call this as carboxylic acid right so the formula will be r c o o a right this is an carboxylic acid carboxylic acid so name will be l a noic acid okay right then you have got the group like uh, it can be chloride can be bromide can be iodide can be chloride chloride is rarely used right so this group is known as chloride okay and this comes with general formula r x x can be chloro bromo iodo chloro right we call this as halide and the name will be whatever halogen is attached to that halo okay hal okay. now look here this is the word root l is the word root and if you put anything after that then that becomes a suffix right and if you put anything before then it becomes a Okay, so when there is chloro bromo iodo, there is a prefix in front of the parent name, and if there is a uh, suffix, you know, then it be, uh, if there is O L or A L or O I C S, then these are suffix to the parent. Okay, now our course will be that one, two, three, four. This series is, and in series, the first five members. So, you have to do first five members. Okay. सबसे पहले लेते हैं सपोज आई टेक मेंबर ऑफ एल होल का ले लिया से प्रोपेनोल तो प्रोप मींस थ्री कार्बन सो थ्री टू द 6 प्लस 1 व्हाट इज द फार्मूला फॉर अल्कोहल CnH2n प्लस 1 OH तो थ्री टू द 6 प्लस 1 7 OH तो 1 2 3 5 right? थ्री कार्बन ओके okay? One of the hydrogen has been replaced with since यहाँ पे सिर्फ propanol लिखा है इसका मतलब ये propanol one होगा तो हम on first carbon we put OH so this is a non right now next we take aldehyde aldehyde करो करेंगे बेटा because generally children make mistakes so aldehyde में we take the first member the first member is HC एच ओ नॉ रिमेम्बर चिल्ड्रन अगर फंक्शनल रूप में कार्बन है इन दैट केस हम एन की वैल्यू जीरो में सकते हैं बिकॉज ऑलरेडी फंक्शनल ग्रुप में कार्बन तो अगर एन की वैल्यू जीरो होगी तो एन एच टू एन प्लस वन सी एच ओ एन इज जीरो दैट मीन सी जीरो दिस विल बी हाउ मच टू इंटू जीरो प्लस वन वन सी एच ओ तो यू गेट एच सी एच ओ सो द फर्स्ट मेम्बर वन कार्बन एक्स It and since it is aldehyde, so it is three. Okay, structure. How is it? Like a H C double bond O and H. This is your aldehyde. Okay. Next, we take up say I take structure of butane. So butane means how many carbon? Four carbon. Okay, so four carbon. We include this carbon. Four means. Three plus one, so there will be C three H three to the six plus one seven C H four. So three plus one is equal to four. So remember this, okay? Right? One, two, three, 
and you have got CHO, right? This is the structure of two phase. Okay, CHO can be written as C double bond O, single bond O, right? After aldehyde, we talk about acids. In acid, suppose we take acetic acid, this is the common name, right? And IUPC name is ethanoic acid. Ethanoic means there are two carbon, one carbon is already there in the functional group, okay? So we are left with one. So it is one plus one is equal to two. So R will be one. So that means C1, H2, N plus one. The C and H2, N plus one, COH. In this N, here R is equal to one. So C1, H3, COOH, right? This is ethanoic acid. So I ask you to write formic acid. Formic acid is the common name of which acid of myth. Enoic acid. So, formic acid is found in the red in formica. So, we call this as formic acid. Now, methanoic acid, meth means how many carbon? One carbon. So, it is already there in the functional group. Here you have it. So, this is the formic acid. Right? C double bond O, O, H. Okay. So, children, you have to practice. Now, we come back to the last series. Suppose that is halides. So the general formula will be CnH2n plus 1 NH. This H can be chlorobromoidro. We rarely use chloro, right? Because if we use chlorine, then the reaction becomes. So suppose I take bromo pentane. So bromo here, Br. Pent means how many carbon? 5. So C5H2 into 5 plus 1. So it will be C5H11 Br. 5 carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Right? And then we can have say Br over here. And every carbon should have 4 hands and they should be 5 with hydrogen. 5 carbon, right, so you get C5H so this here, right, now we talk about isomerism, isomerism, you have in your course chain isomerism and position isomerism, so what is isomerism, it is actually a phenomenon shown by same molecular formula, but it has Different molecular structures possible. Okay, so we have either chain and we have children. You are very lucky. You have a chain and position. You have a lot of other isomers, but you have to focus on both. First is chain, second is position. As the name says, chain that means we are going to increase or decrease the size of chain. What do we do? Chain ka size is small or big. Position may hum kya karenge, we'll keep size same, but we'll change the So, ye aapko dhaan. Okay, now let's take example. Humare course mein hai isomers agar hum dekhte hai, butane. C4H10. What is this? Butane. Butane means four members and all are having single bond. Formula is CNH2N plus 2. Okay, structure kya jayega? One. 2, 3, 4, and carbon is tetravalent. Okay, so this is butane. Now, butane ko aap chain ke form mein kaise le sakte hai. One is this, after direct link gaya. Another what you can do is, usko ek number kam kar di carbon ka. So, 1, 2, 3 carbon le leche. Aur ye jo aapka carbon hai, jo aapne ye hataya hai. This carbon, place it on second. So, ye 1, 2, 3, ye third carbon. Right? Now this becomes your chain isomerism. Your parent kya ho gaya? Okay. Okay. Aur ye kya ho gaya? Straight chain. This group mein. Aur iske second number par ek konsa group laga hai? Methyl. So it is two methyl groups. Okay. So chain isomers of butane are these two. Okay. 
लाइक वाइज हम एक और प्रैक्टिस करते हैं एक हम ले लेते हैं इससे पेंटिंग तो पेंटिंग का फॉर्मूला क्या हो जाएगा सी फाइव एच फाइव टू जै टेन प्लस टू ट्वेल्व सो सी फाइव एच ट्वेल्व राइट दिस इज पेंटिंग इसका चेन बनाएंगे तो हम क्या करेंगे एक तो हम डायरेक्ट बनाएंगे वन टू फोर फाइव Another we can have instead of having five carbon as parent we can have four carbon. कार्बन हमने एक कार्बन कम कर दिया ये कार्बन कम करा ठीक है ये हम सेकेंड पर लगाएंगे वन टू थ्री फोर और ये कार्बन हमने ठीक है वॉट इज ना एक हम और इसका स्ट्रक्चर बना सकते हैं अब हम क्या कर सकते हैं एक और लेस कर सकते हैं ये डिक्री यू वन नो कार्बन तो हमने ये भी हटा दिया अब ये हटा के हम सेकेंड पर लगा दिया वन टू थ्री कार्बन कर दिए एक कार्बन यहाँ लगाए एक यहाँ लगाए तो दिस बिकम्स वॉट चेन आइसो पेरेंटम दिस इज थ्री कार्बन तो पेरेंट इज थ्री कार्बन पेरेंट इज फोर कार्बन पेरेंट इज फाइव कार्बन तो यहाँ क्या नेम होगा पेन यहाँ क्या नेम होगा यूटेन पेरेंट का होगा और ये कार्बन एज अटैचमेंट है ऑन सेकेंड तो हो जाएगा टू पर ऑन सेकेंड देर इज मिथाइल टू मिथाइल ग्रुप यहाँ पे क्या होगा सेकेंड पर दो मिथाइल ग्रुप इट विल बी टू कॉमा टू हाइफन डाई मिथाइल ओके कितने कार्बन है थ्री सोलह ये अच्छे से प्रैक्टिस कर लीजिएगा राइट ना अगेन रिमेम्बर अगर आपकी स्ट्रेट चेन होती है तो हम इसको एन भी लिखते हैं एन पेंटेन आपको बुक्स में दिख जाएगा अगर एक तरफ ब्रांच होता है तो हम उसको आइसो भी कह सकते हैं आइसो पेन टेन ठीक है अगर दोनों तरफ ब्रांच होता है तो हम बोलते हैं नियो पेन टेन ठीक है तो ये हमारा कॉमन नेम है सिर्फ हमारे कोर्स में कॉमन नेम नहीं है तो हम ये अवॉइड करेंगे बस क्या ये हो गया हमारा चेन नॉलेज फोकस ऑन पोजीशन पोजीशन आइसो मर्स में हम क्या करने वाले वी आर गोइंग टू चेंज दोजिशन ओके तो सपोज हम लेते हैं बनाएंगे वन टू थ्री फोर डबल बॉन्ड अगर हमने यहाँ ओके तो द नेम विल बी टू थ्री राइट वन ब्यूटी अगर हम डबल बॉन्ड यहाँ लगा दे सेकेंड का नाउ द नेम विल बी टू ब्यूटी सो वॉट इज कॉमन पेरेंट इज सेम ओके बट देर इज चेंज इन दी पोजिशन इट योर इट इज वन ओवर योर दी पोजिशन ऑफ डबल बॉन्ड इज ऑन सेकेंड दिस कम्स एन द पोजिशन आई सो नोट ओके ऐसे ही हम करते हैं एग्जाम्पल ले लेते हैं ये तो हो गया हमारा ब्यूटी का पोजीशन अब चलो लेट्स कंबाइन हम इसका चेन भी देख सकते हैं कैन वी हैव चेन आल्सो ओके तो चेन कैसे करेंगे चेन मींस नंबर ऑफ कार्बन राइट तो योर वी हैव टेकन हाउ मेनी सी फोर एच ई तो हम चेन कैसे बनाएंगे एक तो हम सारे ठीक है फोर काम वन ओके और दूसरे में क्या करेंगे एक कार्बन को हम साइड में बना देंगे ये हो गया थ्री कार्बन पेरेंट ओके इसको वन पे ही रखा और यहाँ पे हमने कार्बन तो व्हाट इज द नेम नेम ऑफ दिस विल बी ब्यूटीन राइट इट इज ऑन फर्स्ट कार्बन योर इट विल बी वन टू सो देर इज टू राइट क्रॉप इन ओके so this is an example of a compound C four H eight which can show chain isomer as well as position isomer. So then, ये बहुत important है, right? Very important. So the, uh, there are chances of coming this. So butene one को आप अच्छे से practice कर लीजिए कि butene one, butene two, right? So we can have chain, we can have position possible. Okay. Next, हम ले लेते हैं example of एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एल्काइन एल्काइन भी ले सकते हैं ठीक है 
and sine may again we take sine. So time ka kya ho jayega? We have to plan two, three, four. We have triple bond on first carbon, right? We can have one, two, three, four. This is on second carbon. So we have to change the position. Change the position. So this is time. This is also due time. But here it is one. Here it is two. So this is four. Chain. Okay. Chain. We make. These two structures. Okay. Position. Okay. Chain. We have four. Four. We have right. Okay. Straight chain we do it. One we what we do is we make it three cards. And here we put um, over here three carbon. Okay, so this we can change it. Let's see. What we need to change it. We need to put four carbon. Try to put four carbon. So already there are three bonds plus four five. So this is what. If we try to put one carbon here, two carbon. अगर हम इसको यहाँ से हटाकर अगर हम यहाँ लगाते हैं इस कार्बन पे तो दिस बिकम्स द सेम ओके सो वी विल हैव इन केस ऑफ ब्यूटाइन वी विल हैव पोजीशन ओनली सो दिस इज़ सो ब्यूटाइन इज़ गोइंग टू शो पोजीशन आइसोमेरिज़म राइट अगर ब्यूटाइन की जगह वी कैन टेक पेंटाइन देन वी मेक दी पोजीशन इज़ IUPAC is International Union of Pure and Light Chem. Okay, so this is IUPAC board which has given homologous series as a classification of organic compounds and everything is systematic. So IUPAC has in the rules. So the rule says for naming that first we have to select the longest carbon chain. This is the first. Okay. So suppose there is one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> Sorry. Now you have to name the compound. So how will you name? You are going to name like this. It will go wrong. You have to take this as straight chain. Okay. You have to include the longest carbon. Number of carbon should be maximum. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. And this way there are only 5 carbons. So we will not take this chain. We will take chain. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 carbon. Since all are single bond, it is head same. Now what is left? This is left. This is numbered now. The second rule says we have to number number the substituent, you know, minimum one. So if we count from here, one, two, three. And maybe I count from here, it is four. So which one is here is third. So the name will be three. Now how many carbons are here? One, so it is three, and hexane. Is this clear? So this is the uh, rule then. The third rule says you have to involve the functional group, right? And you have to give the name. So if I take one, two, three, four, five, and I write, so what will be the name? This will be longest carbon chain, and you have first second to the name will be pentane. Now on second one, two, three, four, five. On second carbon you have got L right pen A to all and it should be differentiated by hyphen. So after hyphen siragaki differentiate. Is this clear? Okay. Agar am nete one five. Suppose I put here C H O. Um Abang kya karenge? Now CHO is is to be counted. So the OH is. But if carbon is, we can ignore it. We will count this carbon. So how do we count it? We will include this in the parent chain. Now we are violating the longest carbon chain. Okay. So what will happen? One, two, three, four. 
so the name will be blue pay well okay or uske one two second carbon pe kaun sa group hai ethyl so two ethyl butanol okay likewise suppose i take one two three four five six and here i put three over it now what will i do i'll select this as my parent it's one two four five six so this is what hexanoic acid right on second carbon i have one okay so this is all about the nomenclature now let's take up the compounds you have children you are very lucky aapke paas bahut kam reactions hai theek hai to sabse pehle hamare paas we talk about alkene in alkene hamare paas hai substitution reaction and we have combustion okay so alkene mein hamare paas hai methane and ethane so when we take methane the formula for methane is ch4 right since all the bonds are here single so it will go for substitution reaction okay so first if we take up halogenation halogenation means it is just a chlorine bromine or iodine okay so the reaction will be a chain reaction okay and uh, one by one all the hydrogen will be replaced with chlorine or bromine right the reaction takes place in the presence of diffused sunlight or ultraviolet rays so what will happen ch4 will combine with chlorine okay so if i write like h h h plus cl so this is going to form what hcl and you will get in place of this hydrogen you will get co so you will have h c h h is on cl got it so this is cl and you have got this bond here okay so this is what how many chlorine are here one so we should be name bono chloro okay further this compound is going to that h c H H C L plus C L C L. So now the C L say this. Okay. So we are going to get what H C H C L here and C L here plus H C. How many chlorine two? So we call this as di chloro methane. Okay. Next. We further take H C C L C L and we treat this with chlorine. Further, in presence of sunlight, okay, diffuse sunlight. So, what are we going to get? C L from here and H from here will form what? H C L and you will get H C right. You will have C L C L. Now, how many chlorines are here? Three. So we will give the name tri chloro. Okay. okay. Further, this tri chloro will combine with chlorine in presence of sunlight, and this fourth hydrogen will also paste. Right. So you will get Cl C Cl Cl. Yeah. We call this as tetrachloromethane. It is also known as carbon tetra. Okay, and this trichloromethane is also known as chloroform. Children, this question may be asked: How will you prepare chloroform from methane or ethane? Okay, or identify which one is chloro. Okay. Now this was for methane. If we take, so what is the formula for ethane? C two H six. So that means all these six hydrogens will be replaced with chlorine. So we take C two H six 
plus C L two. What are we going to get in the case of sunlight or reflection light? C two H five C L plus H C L. Then C two H five C L plus C L two will form C two H four C L two. That means hydrogen is decreasing by one and chlorine is increasing by one. Okay. Up here, what will happen? C two H four C L two is. This is going to combine with chlorine, so one hydrogen will be less, so there will be C two H three. And the hydrogen will be less, so there will be chlorine. So three will be there. So add five plus one six, four plus two, six three plus three. Okay. Then C two H three C L three again will combine with chlorine. So C two H now three will be there. What will happen? Two. And this three will be there. Chlorine will be there. Four. So you will get right tetra chloroethylene. Then C two H two C L four plus chlorine will be there. Now one hydrogen will be there. So C two H or C L five plus ethylene. And the last reaction will be C two H C L five will combine with chlorine to form C two C L six plus ethylene. So एक एक करके gradually chlorine में सारे हाइड्रोजन को रिप्लेस कर दिया ओके सो दिस रिएक्शन इज नोन है सब्सिट्यूशन वाई इज नोन है सब्सिट्यूशन बिकॉज आप किस जगह कुछ और लगाते राइट सो यू टू रिमेंबर द नेम दिस इज मोनोक्लोरो डाईक्लोरो ट्राईक्लोरो टेट्रा क्लोरो पेंटा क्लोरो एंड टेट्रा क्लोरो ठीक है इसको प्रैक्टिस कर लीजिएगा बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है देन वी टॉक अबाउट ऑक्सीडेशन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर जब भी आप ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड को कम्बस्ट करते हैं एक्सेस ऑफ एयर में बर्न करते हैं then it gives rise to formation of carbon dioxide, water and energy. So, if we have methane and have oxygen with oxygen and oxygen excess, so it is going to form carbon dioxide and water vapor along with large amounts of energy. If we have methane, so then we are going to take 7 O2, we will get 2, 2 plus 2, okay. So, we will get 4 carbon dioxide plus 6 water plus energy and the moment we increase carbon the energy will also increase okay so as we increase number of carbon the energy will also increase now this is when there is sufficient or large amount of oxygen if there is less oxygen aapne kabhi dekha hoga jab khavan karte hain ya lakhiyan jal rahi hoti hain wood so usme kya hota hai aapko aankhon mein tears aane lagte hain the reason is ki wo properly burn nahi karta and there is smoke okay so why you get tears in your eyes? It is because of the formation of carbon monoxide. Okay, so you can identify it. And after that, pain, that means what happened? Methane be carbon monoxide. Okay, so if we take incomplete, incomplete means less. So if we take CH4, that means we increase the number of uh, organic hydrocarbon methane. Or we have taken the oxygen limit. Now, we will get 2 carbon monoxide, 4 water and energy and this is going to cause pain in our eyes. So, this is limited. If we further limit further, in that case, what will happen? It is going to break. So, if we take 2 ethane molecules, we will get 3, 2, F6 and we have a lot of oxygen. Say, we just give how many hydrogens are here? 6 to the 12. So, we give here, we have given here. Okay, so we will get what? 6 water and we will get 2 water. So as we decrease the number of oxygen molecules, the gas is converted from carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide and finally we will get what we will get. So that means for complete combustion we will get a lot of oxygen and when we are burning it, we will get large amount of oxygen. So here is our ethane. Methane ka substitution reaction. Now we have got reactions for alkene, right? Alkene mein humare paas hai addition reaction. And addition reaction kis ka hai? Hydrogen ka hai or halogen. Okay. So you have in your course CH2 double bond. CH2 ka matlab kya hai? Iska naam kya hai? Alkene. Now if we take alkene and we treat this with hydrogen, Okay, so this is catalytic hydrogenation. What will happen in the catalyst? It will be at high temperature. Nickel or palladium. 
तो वॉट विल है हाइड्रोजन विल बी एडेड एंड यूल गेट सी क्या होगा ये एक बॉन्ड होते का वन हाइड्रोजन विल कम हुआ सेकेंड विल कम हुआ यूल गेट सी एच थ्री सी एच थ्री सो वॉट इज दिस दिस इज तो इथेन से क्या बन गया इथेन ओके एंड टू रिएक्टेंस एंड वन प्रोडक्ट सो दैट मीन्स द रिएक्शन इज एडिशन ओके नेक्स्ट वी टॉक अबाउट हेलोजिनेशन हेलोजिनेशन ऑफ क्लोरिन जिमी एंड आयोडिन से वी टेक सी एच टू डबल वन सी एच टू वी एड क्लोरिन ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर क्लोरिन डायरेक्ट एड नहीं होगा क्लोरिन के लिए ब्रोमिन के लिए आयोडीन के लिए हमको एक सॉल्वेंट लेना पड़ेगा जो सॉल्वेंट इज कार्बन टेट्रा क्लोराइड इन दिस वी विल रिजोल्व क्लोरिन ब्रोमिन और आयोडीन गैस इन दिन ओके तो दिस विल ब्रेक वन क्लोरिन विल कम हुआ अनदर क्लोरिन विल कम हुआ प्रोडक्ट हो जाएगा हमारा सिंगल बॉन्ड एच टू और यहाँ पर क्या आ जाएगा सीएल एंड सीएल तो नेम क्या हो जाएगा वन कॉमा टू डाई रिमेम्बर यहाँ पे इथीन है और यहाँ पे क्या बन रहा है इथीन बन ओके सो दिस इज अगेन एन एडिशन रिएक्शन ठीक है ऐसे ही हमारा प्रोमीन हो जाएगा ऐसे ही हमारा आयोडीन हो जाएगा ओके सो दिस इज दिन रिएक्शन फॉर एल्किन लास्ट हम आते हैं फॉर एल्काइन चिल्ड्रन ये बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है क्योंकि एल्काइन में आप एल्किन के रिएक्शन तो एल्काइन है सी एन टू एन माइनस टू तो सी एच ट्रिपल बॉन्ड है एंड अगेन यहाँ ट्रिपल बॉन्ड है अनसेचुरेशन है सो दिस विल गो फॉर एडिशन रिएक्शन एडिशन में सबसे पहले हम करते हैं हाइड्रोजनेशन हाइड्रोजन के लिए क्या चाहिए हमको वी नीड 300 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड कैटलिस वी नीड निकल व्हाट विल हैपन वन बॉन्ड विल ब्रेक वन हाइड्रोजन विल कम ऑन फर्स्ट कार्बन सेकेंड विल कम ऑन सेकेंड कार्बन सी एच टू डबल ओके नाउ देर इज अ डबल बॉन्ड अगेन रिटेम्बर इफ देर इज अ डबल बॉन्ड दिस कैन फर्दर गो फॉर एडिशन रिएक्शन हाइड्रोजन इन थ्री हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड निकेल ये बॉन्ड ब्रेक करेगा एक हाइड्रोजन यहाँ एक हाइड्रोजन नाउ देर बी नो फर्दर वॉट इज दिस This is ethene and this is ethene. Isn't it interesting? Ethene से ethene बनेगा, फिर ethene बनेगा. So ethene वाले वाले चैप्टर में आप ethene के properties कर सकते हैं. Okay. Now next we take up halogenation. So halogenation में हमने क्या करा था? We need medium. And what is that medium? The medium is carbon tetrachloride. Okay. So If we take H three triple bond C H three this will chlorine and medium is carbon tetrachloride that is in our solvent carbon tetrachloride one bond will break one chlorine on first carbon second chlorine on second carbon we get H C C L double bond C C L H right so the name is one comma two di means two Chloro, dichloro, and here it is ethene. Okay. Further, we treat this with chlorine in presence of carbon tetrachloride. Again, the bond will break, and you will have chlorine. So you will get HCCl-Cl single bond Cl-Cl and H. So the name will be one comma one comma Two comma two tetra four tetra chloro e change okay right other chlorine may have bromine so there will be bromo now when we talk about iodine so अगर हम C H triple bond C H और iodine देते हैं now this does not take place in carbon tetra chloride इसको एक तो चाहिए होता है alkyl तो इट टेक्स प्लेस इन अल्कोहल और एक सिंगल एडिशन हो राइट तो यू गेट आई सी एच डबल बॉन्ड सी एच आई ना इट डज नॉट गो फर्दर द रीजन इज द साइज ऑफ आयोडीन इज वेरी बिग तो इसमें दो आयोडीन मॉलिक्यूल एक कार्बन का पॉसिबल नहीं है बिकॉज कार्बन है रिएक्शन पर टेनिंग टू एल्काइन 
तो एल्काइन में रिमेम्बर जो भी हमने रिएक्शन करे हैं एल्काइन से पहले एल्किन बना है फिर एल्किन ओके सो इन ऑल दीज एडिशन रिएक्शन वी हैव एक्चुअली रिवाइज द रिएक्शन ऑफ एल्किन ठीक है तो ये है हमारा क्विक रिविजन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री चिल्ड्रन बहुत ईजी चैप्टर है बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग है आप अच्छे से रिएक्शन को प्रैक्टिस करना है समझना है ओके ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू